Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and I make art videos documenting my life and all types of stuff like that. So you should join the club. But basically today I have had a pretty intensive week. So I wanted to come back to things I really enjoy. And one of my most favorite memories as a kid was to the library all the time after school. So I thought, why not hit up the library again? I probably haven't gone to my library card is gone or expired or something of the sort so I do plan on getting a new one today and checking out some books so I thought I would take you guys along with me. Hey guys, so I am officially in the library and I did a little bit of looking around, went to the nonfiction section, peeked into the fiction section. I might go downstairs and look at some of the children's books in those sections because that was where I spent my childhood in the children's book section um, at the library and I really was into comics and picture books and all sorts of things. So. There's much to look at and check out. I'm very excited to be here. This is a newly renovated library, so they have a lot of cool things here, like study rooms, and I'm sure that there's some other amazing things I just need to look into as well. So there's a lot to do, and I'm excited to get into this. Just get a little bit more comfortable. Let's go on out and keep looking at some books. I'm actually gonna go look for Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys because we love a good mystery and that was stuff that I was always reading, especially the comic books when I was little. So I'm on the search for those and just anything else interesting I can find as well. If I'm thinking correctly, Nancy Drew should be somewhere between DeWint and DeWinsky, correct? So it should be in the south, <laughs> hopefully. It actually would not because those are still DEs. So, I think that if I walk down here, there should be more D options, or am I just crazy? I don't know. <laughs> but why does it stop here? Hmm? 
am I like missing something like or forgetting something you know I think in this exact moment it really just went over my head I completely forgot how the library system really works when it comes to searching for a book I think I was so set on finding this book or these books that I was just kind of like completely blocking the part of my mind that holds the information on how the library system works um, but I hope that this just shows my eagerness and excitement to find these books so <laughs> there you go Should I still look for Nancy's Rebus? I don't know. Um, oh, here they are. Here they are. This is what's here. Awesome. And um, do you want me to show you the um, Nancy, Nancy Drew's Well, yes, yeah, she's one over here. Okay. And I think that was part of my problem. I'm so used to looking for the yellow. Yeah. I forget party voice or blue. So here's Nancy Drew. And then if you don't find what you want, I can show you there'll be some in the paperbacks as well. Okay, cool, thank you. I used to uh -huh. these all the time when I was younger, so I was like, it's I really love to like to read them. Yeah, so. it's fun to go back. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so uh -huh. much. You're welcome. So I think it was a pretty successful trip, so now I'm going to go back to the house and show you guys what I got, what I plan to do with them, how I plan to read them, and maybe some work that can come from these as well. So I'm so excited. <sighs> good day, good day. I'm kind of hungry. Let's go ahead and go. Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. As you just watched, I had a pretty fun day at the library. It just really warms my heart to be there and I love talking to the employees. Everyone was really nice, receptive. I'm sure they're glad to really have people there again. It was wonderful going back there. It definitely lifted my spirits and I just wanted to quickly show you guys some of the books that I got. I tried to refrain myself from getting too many, but also I feel like I had a couple general ideas of books that I was interested in because I think it's Jimmy Kimmel or someone has like some sort of a reading list. There was a Jimmy Fallon. One of the Jimmys has a reading list and he, I think it was Jimmy Fallon and he was reading some of like the blurbs of the books and it was, they just sounded super interesting but those are like brand new just published books so I don't know if those type of things would be at the library just yet. They I didn't really see the books that I had in mind. Granted, I didn't really research to make sure that they were at this actual library or not. So if you guys want to see another library day or afternoon morning with me, let me know and I will properly research and properly come with a plan. This time I was looking for like some little Nancy Drew books since those are pretty near and dear to my heart, but I'll show you guys and the Hardy Boys as well. It, but I will show you guys what I ended up going with. I saw some graphic novels. So I had to scoop. This one is Lucy in the Sky. I picked it up before and I wasn't necessarily going to run with it, but the art style is really fun. It's definitely Beatles inspired. The art style is fun, so like what's not to what's not to love? So and of course the big thing this whole video was looking for Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys, but I just got one Nancy Drew novel. I didn't see any Nancy Drew graphic novels really. Um, neither Hardy Boys, we didn't really find them. I guess that they were all gone because they're just that good period. So I did just get like a little novel regular situation Nancy Drew number one missing so 
don't think I've ever read this, so I was like, this would be cool to kind of dive into. I love a good mystery book. And then one of the first things that I ended up grabbing from the adult section upstairs, <laughs> adulting out here, is The Motion of Puppets, uh, a novel by Keith Donahue. And I think I was just intrigued by the little description that they had, and I was like, that sounds really interesting. I'm a really big cover art person, so if you have really intriguing cover art, it'll draw me to the book. And then from there, if you have a really interesting summary, I will take the book and choose to read it. So, And then I saw this at the end. It's very much like a kid's like cute little picture book type comic moment. I saw the little prints and there's this seems to be like a series of books from the little prints inspired by little prints whatever and I love the little prints if you have not read the little short story if you've not seen the movie I would definitely encourage you to because it's really cute really sweet story and it really inspires me so I picked this up and I thought it would be a good read as well but yeah that's all I got this time around I didn't want to overwhelm them with like a bajillion books and I also did not want to overwhelm myself with a bajillion book, so I'm just trying to take it easy because when I was younger I would check out literally so many, uh, <laughs> but just taking it easy this time. This was a super fun video to make, so if you enjoyed it, do give this video a like. Uh, hit subscribe to see more content from me. I'm going to continue sharing my experiences. I'm still on the job hunt and just trying really hard to find something that I know I'll enjoy. So if you're interested in seeing more of my journey in that regard, as in my journey as an artist, subscribe to see more of this right here. But until next time, I smell some dinner. So I'm going to go find my way to that dinner. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!